Hello, everybody, and welcome into this broadcast of Temple Ice Hockey. I am James Urban here tonight on the play by play with my color analyst, Jacob Smedley, and we are just moments away from puck drop for the Temple Owls taking on the Towson Tigers. A very nice ceremony before the game. Everybody getting honored. Ryan, Trevs, all the seniors, and also my analyst, Jacob Smedley. It's a great night, Jacob. Yeah, it's a great night. Senior night here in in the Northeast Skate Zone. Yeah, great to see all of the players. And, of course, the Ryan Treffs Award, named after Ryan Treffs. Uh, a wonderful ceremony before the game and before, an, before the action. National Anthem is done and we are just ready to go here at Northeast Skate Zone in Northeast Philadelphia. The Temple Owls are coming off a win last night, 5-2 over TCNJ. That improves them to 11-10 on the season and they take on the Towson Tigers tonight who are struggling pretty mightily this season. They come in at 1-20 tonight, Jacob. What's in store for tonight's game? I think the biggest thing for Temple is to set the pace early. Uh, last night on the road, they got out early, got the lead early on against TCNJ, and, and really pushed them to the victory in a lot of their losses. We've seen right here in, in the Northeast Skate Zone, it's been they've gotten behind, they've been down one or two goals, mm. having to try and fight back and tight, and there's just not enough energy in that third period. So. Got to start strong against this struggling Towson team. Main and there's some big implications. Big too implications I was just about to talk before <laughs> we get started here tonight. Let's talk about the playoff implications. Westchester is what needed is uh, what Temple needed to uh, win tonight. They took down Navy 5-0, and now it is win and in for the Owls. They win tonight here at home against Towson, and they will be in the playoffs tonight, Jacob. It would be great for a lot of these seniors uh, honored before the game to get into the playoffs for one final time. The Owls looking to protect home ice and not get their senior night spoiled. And puck drop is underway. And we are ready to go here in the first period. Towson controlling it, Temple controlling it back and forth thus far in Temple's area. Jeff Gross loses a handle and it is behind the net in control of Temple. Like I said, Temple just gets above 500 last night after a win over TCNJ. They handled TCNJ pretty much through the entire game, and that is going to be key for them getting a good start early. Here's a two-on-two -two for Temple, but there will be a call early, and that is the first call of the night just 50 seconds in here in this first period. Yeah, it looked like an offside there, James. He was really on the defensive. The all seniors uh, starting five. Mm. They're moving around, but Towson really setting the pace. And, and guys to look out for for Towson, Jeremy Wilson, 33 points this season, 17 goals, 16 assists, fourth in the ECHA at points. The Owls are going to pull out with this victory. They're going to have to limit Wilson. 17 goals is no joke in the ECHA. That is absolutely impressive. Here's Temple looking to go up early. Can't answer. It is back out to Seth Lerner and Nolan Sauer protecting the back of the ice. Got the pair of brothers out there for the Owls, Joe and Pat Stelasio in the second line. So the Owls are making a change. The, the Stelasio brothers coming from <laughs> Glenside, Pennsylvania. 
Right now, the hours just seem, seem like they're out of sync in the first few minutes. Of course, you gotta kind of take your emotions nerves. away. Yeah. Senior night. Got the, got, you know, the whole team lined up there honoring the seniors. But now, you got a game. And you're about two minutes in. You gotta start applying the pressure to this Towson team. It's one thing that not a lot of people think about. A senior night can almost hurt you sometimes because it's something that you feel is more special than it actually is. But Temple, you assume they're gonna get assured from, well, with themselves and uh, get comfortable very soon. Puck loss in the neutral zone, but Towson there to collect. Number 20, Evan Owenby with it, and now off to James Harwood. Harwood shooting at the net, and it is saved by Levin. Levin is playing tonight in place of Golis. Golis has been out for the last few games in concussion protocol, so it is going to be Oscar Levin. He was in net last night and he got the win. Yeah, and uh, Oscar Levin has been that key backup for Adam Calabrese and the Owls right behind Golis as he makes another save off the faceoff. The lefty glove, the righty in the stick, moves around the crease very well. Yep. Going to try and limit this offense that is really fronted by Wilson and Harwood, who we just saw a moment ago. Going to be important for the defense to not let Towson get up ahead early. Two quick saves by Oscar Levin there. Lost puck there from 89. Michael Irie, who is now playing his second game this year. He was out all of last year, and they asked him to come back after the injury to Rob Polarski. And he played his first game last night, and he had an assist, Jacob. Yeah, it's great, great to see him be back in there after injury. And, you know, I hate to see a guy like Rob go down, Rob Polarski to that injury, but great to see Michael Eway back in there for the out. Uh, injury updates, like you said, Rob Polarski injured his lower leg, had to get surgery the other day, and uh, he will be out for the season. And also defenseman Callum Moran broke his kneecap. No structural damage, just a broken kneecap for Callum Moran. So those two will be out tonight. Right now, interested to see the really the first offensive zone face-off for the Owls. Couldn't get the win, but just trying to apply pressure on the goalie Daniel Ludwig, the 6-1 goalie from Abington, Maryland. Trying to get as many pucks in the back of the net. Last night in the 5-2 win for Temple, goal scorers consisted of Hunter Ringwood, Brandon Barrett, Julian Rudolph, and Nolan Sauer. Very interested to see how the Owls get Barrett going here. He had two goals in the first matchup between the two teams that the Owls won 4-1 mm -hmm. earlier this season. It's been very elusive off of turnovers, getting into the offensive zone. Looks like tonight playing that third line winger. See how they get him open. A lethal threat always leading the Owls in goals this season with 13. Got his 13th goal this season last night against TCNJ. Here's Nolan Sal ripping it into the slot. Gets blocked away by the Towson goalkeeper Daniel Ludwig. Six foot one, 205 from Abingdon, Maryland. Sauer retains, ripping it again, going up high. No good. Seth Lerner back with it. The junior defenseman getting tripped up there. Nothing is called, and here is Joe Stelasio, number eight, coming behind the net. We're gonna have a call, another stoppage of play with 16.30 to go in this first period. Yeah, really back and forth, three shots to two in the form of Towson as it looks like number 17, Sam Miner, is mm -hmm. gonna be going to the box and the Owls will be on the power play but, yes, but regardless, indeed. it's just kind of been a lot of turnovers, a lot of play in the neutral zone. Neither mm -hmm. team has really jumped out and taken the game by the horns. No foot on the gas just yet. We are still just three minutes and 30 seconds into this one. Here, here is Michael Irie. Michael Irie playing his first game in a long time since last night. Ripped it into the slot in front of Daniel Ludwig, and he's able to collect. And there's Hunter Ringwood. He is always in the mix, Jacob. You can hear him talking from up here. <laughs> yeah, always hear him in the mix. And it's great to see, too. Of course, you, as we mentioned earlier, hate to see a guy like Rob go down. But great to see Hunter Ringwood get the opportunity to be the assistant captain for the final stretch 
of the season. With a minute 30, though, left. James, they, they got to get the passes going, got to get it around. A rip shot from Irie trying to go top left, but it is blocked away by Ludwig. A solid start for Ludwig in net. Uh, Ludwig in net. Back there is Malik Lansdowne. Retaining possession for the Owls, trying to take control of this game early in the first period. Here's Hunter Ringwood on senior night. You look for him to be a huge piece. Yeah, a huge piece as well. Also got Gross, Jeff Gross out there. Mm -hmm. Barrett, as we mentioned, it will line change for Towson. Maybe the Owls can take advantage. Nolan Sauer also out there on the ice. Won the Ryan Trevs Honorary Award. Love to see that for Nolan Sauer. Here he is. Giving it off to Brandon Barrett. Little miss hit there off his shin, but he still has it. Here is Julian Rudolph. Scored the other night against TCNJ. He rips it and it's off the bar. Off the bar, Julian Rudolph just missed it by a few inches. Yeah, that was that was really close, top of the bar. And I, I'm gonna go back to the Barrett shot right in the slot. He, he had it eyed up, just missed it, just out in front of it. As a golden opportunity on a great feed from Sowers, the defenseman moving in with a great pass. The Owls now starting to get the passes, everyone touching the puck. Sauer going low, blocked by the knee pad of Ludwig. Back out to Barrett, back to Sauer. Back and forth, give and go, but it gets taken away by number 34. That's gonna be Sean Nutston for Towson. Look at that, Julian Rudolph had, his, his shot a little bit of like top spin on it. <laughs> Here's Brandon Barrett. Number 17, Sam Miner. He's going to come out of the box in just three seconds. And there he goes, exiting the box. And Temple can't take advantage of it. I mean, just, just not enough players touching the eye, if touching the puck as there's Janish hits the ground. I mean, you gotta, gotta move it around. The passes just weren't there. Seven shots to two, but the passes just haven't been there for everyone. Another one there, just right off the skate. Temple, although not really collecting possession super well, they are still holding Towson to not doing the same. Stelasio back there for Temple. Looking to move it up. Trying to get a breakaway is Temple. Here's Blake Richmond. Just honored. He is also a senior Ian Stonefield in the mix. Nobody really has possession. It's on the skate of Ian Stonefield, and Blake Richmond is able to get it out. CJ Phillips in the game, and CJ Phillips, a new development for this team, is he he's now playing defense to take the spot of Callan Moran after his injury. We've seen that a handful of times this season. Coach Calabrese and the staff kind of moving guys around. Seen that with Brandon Barrett as well. Saw it a bit on the power play, playing that kind of defenseman high roll in the slot. Each one of these guys, it's so important to be versatile to the next level. Mm -hmm. and starts right here. Sam Miner out of the penalty box. Looking for some action here, decking into the boards is minor. Miss hit there, number three, Braden Murphy. 5'10", 170 out of Otis, Massachusetts. Majority of this Towson team from the state of Maryland. So staying home, playing for their hometown, home state school. Sure they're proud to play for their Tigers. Here's 19, and that's a score! Jeremy Wilson doing what he does best and finding the back of the net. That was a great shot by Wilson. Just right top shelf over top of Levin. Just, I don't, I don't know if he just didn't see it or just stick side, didn't get it up in time, but a rocket from Wilson. And one of the keys we were talking about earlier is limiting his touches in, in space and limiting the puck on his stick and makes it pay as, as the Tigers looking to get momentum early in the house, not limiting Wilson. Binding against him here and not getting out to an early lead as well. Temple not showing the energy that you wanted to see to start this game and Towson takes advantage. That gives Jeremy Wilson his 18th goal of the year and his 34th point of the season. Moving him up even further in the ECHA standings. Yeah, also And another score! Number six, James Harwood, the guy in second <laughs> on the team in goals. And just like that, Towson goes up 2-0 
in a matter of 30 seconds. Talk about setting the pace and quieting the packed house. Towson doing it to perfection from two of their leaders. Harwood, one of the best scorers in the ECA, not, not only this season, 10th in all in points by the by the whole league, but also last year was very good on the ice in these matchups. And yeah, what a start. Two goals less than halfway through the first from two of the best players on this Towson squad. How do the Owls respond? You gotta find momentum somehow. So the two players on Towson that came into this game leading them in goals knock on the first two tonight. Couldn't even blink between the two <laughs> goals. So Wilson and Harwood get on the board and that one gives Harwood his 15th goal of the season and his 30th point of the season. Yeah, and it, we're going back to Wilson, we didn't have time to comment on his goal. 18 for him, which gives him tied for the best total in the ECHA with Sean Grant of Lehigh as well. Just been phenomenal. And, and while, you know, sometimes the wins and the losses kind of overshadow those, that's just a great season for the rookie, Wilson. A lot of great years ahead of him. And both those goals, very impressive. Not, not from close whatsoever. They were from far out. And a turnover there by Temple. Here's a three-on-one, number four. Sam Rudnick has it but lost it quickly. And, and here's the, the, these final 11.30. Two-on-one for Temple. Jeff Gross has it but loses it. Number three. Excellent play by Murphy. Humphrey there. Yep. Got a two-on-one. In those two-on-ones, you're trying to guard the side. And for Gross, right-handed sh uh, shooter there on the right side in the slot. Trying to play that slide down and force the pass. Ryan Bachuski trying to get it in there. Hits the side of the net. Jeff Gross trying a little wrister right in front of Ludwig, but unsuccessful there. And there is going to be a faceoff. Seen that a handful of times with the Owls this season, just on those breakaway opportunities, two on one, three on two, where just there might have an extra pass being made or recognizing of a teammate that led to a goal or an opportunity in front of the net. Ian Stonefield had an opportunity but gives it up and it's back to Brandon Barrett, somebody that Temple is most definitely relying on when they are in a two goal hole. Tripped up is Brandon Barrett right in front of the net. Could have been disastrous, but Temple able to revive themselves quickly. It looks like they're going to be able to get it out of there with Barrett. Jeff yeah. Gross off to C.J. Phillips. Three on one is C.J. Phillips. Barrett, Aiden Gross trying to behind the back goal there as C.J. Phillips got tripped up, but, not, but unsuccessful there. Yeah, Croce was there with him along with Barrett. I feel like you gotta make that pass mm. earlier. There were three of them there. You gotta send it around, force the defender to make a choice. Mm. Get an easy one there and just picking up the puck in. Yep. Croce, not able to get a good shot there, but he, excuse me, Jake Lang. Julian Rudolph out there as well. Hunter Ringwood trying to be right in there in the slot, but isn't able to collect. Malik lands down out there. Out to Julian Rudolph, scored the other night. Here's an opportunity for Hunter Ringwood. Here he goes, behind the net, going back to Rudolph. Rudolph and Irie behind the net. 10 minutes through in this first period. Nine shots on goal in favor of Temple, but still down two nothing. Yeah, they've, they've, we've seen they've had opportunities in front of the net on Towson turnovers. It's not like Towson is playing a perfect game. Just the Owls have not taken advantage. There's a lack of communication so far. Another turnover there for an opportunity. Julian Rudolph looking like he was trying to find Lansdowne, but he wasn't able to connect with him. Going above the net was a ricochet over the head of Levin. Still in possession of Towson. Malik lands down collecting on defense. And here's a final nine minutes where Temple's really got to get, get, their, get their feet back and, and get one back on the board. Yeah, it, it starts with the turnovers. It starts with really keeping it in the offensive zone. And you turn it over this much in the neutral zone. Just, just cannot make those kind of mistakes. Irie. Another turnover for Temple was Blake Mitch Richmond trying to find Irie. 
Here's a two on two for Towson. Trying to go top right was number five. Here's Temple on the breakaway. Jordan Janis trying to go low. Blocked away by Ludwig. Ludwig still a brick wall so far in this first period, letting up nothing. It's a great job moving in between the pipes from Ludwig. Right now, you just kind of see him there holding the left post, understanding where the puck is at all times. What a great job there. Turned him aside. How did that one not go through? <laughs> Looks like he almost went through the five hole for Daniel Ludwig, but he's able to stay in front. And he now collects into the glove, and there's going to be a face-off. Now, eight minutes left in this first period. Temple's down 2-0. What do they got to do specifically to get what, to get this one back? I, I mean, the first one, it sound like, sounding like a broken record so far, you m have to have crisp passes. The turnovers have been abundant, especially in the neutral zone, especially entering the attacking zone. You've got it right there it's for Stonefield. Getting the shots on net, forcing Ludwig only five opportunities but you've got to force him to make some more tough saves. And Temple most definitely trying to avoid keeping in this two, in this two goal hole because it'll it'll creep into their heads later the game goes on. It's senior night. We're down. We need to get one back. That could affect their play very heavily, just mental aspect wise. And and you mentioned with uh, Rob earlier about. Just the players kind of knowing those playoff implications. You hope that that doesn't get in their head as mm -hmm. well in addition to senior night. Temple still struggling to settle in here. Seven minutes left in this first period in a two-goal hole. Here is Stelasio in front of the net. Gets it taken away. Another turnover for Temple. Got to cut back on the turnovers and get back on track with the crisp, crisp passes. Bachewski. Unable to find anything there is Towson. Ian Stonefield checking 19. Jeremy Wilson into the deck. As we mentioned, Jeremy Wilson tied now for the lead in the ECHA with goals. And their one win this year over Navy, he had four that night. Yeah, he's, he's been the consistent scorer for Towson this season. Him and Harwood with the two goals early. Jake Lang scores! Jake Lang gets Temple on track. It is now 2-1, and Temple is back on their feet here at Northeast Skate Zone. And we're seeing the goals from distance continue, James. That one was from the high slot from Lang. Just let it rip, going back to the conversation of getting shots on net. Keep Pepper in the net with 12 shots now for the Owls, and Lang top shelf where they had the cookie jar, James, up top over Ludwig to cut the lead to one. Team was maybe getting a little bit rattled there. <laughs> Fans uneasy, but now Temple back on the board. 2-1 with 6.20 to go in this first period. And now Temple back and drawing some blood. Stop Stoppage it. to play, and you can, you can feel the energy is kind of back in the building now, Jacob. Yeah, a packed house here and for senior night. And Lang, the senior who got getting the start tonight, I mean, really that it's got to rejuvenate the guys here on the bench. At least you hope so. At least you, you hope so. You can, most definitely, <laughs> you, can, you can most definitely feel it was getting a little bit quiet in here, uneasy, as I mentioned. But now Jake Lang. Jake Lang gets the goal, and Aiden Croce with the assist. And it looks like a delayed penalty on the Owls. As Ludwig started to skate off. And now looks with that one. Looks to be Irie. Irie. Irie in his second game back. As I mentioned, this is his 76th game as a Temple Owl. It is his fifth year in the team. They asked him after Rob Polarski got injured, we would like to have you back for the end of the season and hopefully the postseason. And he agreed and he got an assist last night and already entering himself into this one tonight. And that goal there by Jake Lang, that brings him to three goals on the season, which is his seventh point now on the season. Yeah, the Owls gotta, gotta get this stop on the penalty kill. You get the momentum back, have the penalty, and you gotta get a stop against this Towson offensive unit. 
Just because he got one back does not mean that Wilson or Harwood could, could, could respond just as quick. As you saw, they, they scored back to back in the blink of an eye there around the 12 minute mark. It is going to be Irie, another 115 in the penalty box, so an advantage for Towson. And Temple just clearing from the defensive area and trying to get out of this penalty time. Wilson, Wilson the again, yeah. Forward from Chesapeake Beach, Maryland, just so quick up the ice. Use it to his advantage, but another great clear by this Owls defense. Got Richmond out there along with Landstow and Lerner, two of the Owls' premier defenders. And with that penalty, the Temple's really locking in on not letting up their momentum, which they have right now. Just trying to play it safe and get through this next 30 seconds with Irie in the penalty box. 4.20 remains in this first period here in Northeast Philadelphia. Skipped up almost, almost hit almost us hit there. The broadcast yeah. there. <laughs> had, had a few of those games too. It, pucks have come flying past us up here, asking some of the players the other night. As to, long as it doesn't hit the camera, right? <laughs> the camera, yeah. the computer, yeah. and we're all good. I mean, I guess we're the we're the shield for that, James. We're the shield up here. We can go on. I feel like I've seen a baseball announcer <laughs> that got, got hit with a foul ball one time. He, and he did the play-by-play. -play. He continued. I, I just got hit by the foul ball. <laughs> <laughs> Pachewski back there. Penalty with Irie. Three seconds left, and he will be stepping out of the box right now, and Temple is back in full force. Great, great penalty kill there for the Owls. It's now another Towson turnover. Can the Owls take advantage? But it's a great kill. Four minutes left. Penalty kill, that is, and trying to get this, this game back even. Nolan Sauer and Seth Lerner, the junior defensive duo back there. Here is Bachewski, Ryan Bachewski. The 5'10", 180 from Matalapan, Pennsylvania. Here's Stelasio trying to push it, but gets it taken away by Braden Murphy. Seth Lerner. Seth Lerner in the slot, looking for some room service here. That was a great play by Lerner. Coming up on the blue line, being aggressive as a defenseman. You asked as a defenseman to, to do a great job defensively, but it's also the offensive part. And Lerner did a great job. They're trying to set up an offensive possession. Just missing wide is number three, Braden Murphy. Coming from Otis, Massachusetts. Just missed right. Here's Towson, has it behind the net. Number 20, Evan Owenby. And Hunter Ringwood collects. Hunter Ringwood giving it off to Julian Rudolph. Here is Julian Rudolph, two on one. But gets it taken away. Just not crisp enough handle there on the puck. And Towson is going the other way. Two minutes and 15 seconds left in this first period. Taken away is Hunter Ringwood. Hunter Ringwood with Irie, going low and it gets blocked away by Ludwig. A great save with the shin of Ludwig. 17, Sam Miner was in the penalty box before but back out on the ice. Gives it away quickly. Turnovers just have been a problem all period. Have to be a talking point here in this first intermission. Got to look up. A lot of these players trying to look down, trying to find the puck, but you've got to try and look up, find the guys ahead of you. A three-force ice rink pass there to, to Brandon Barrett. But not able to collect is Temple. Giving it off to C.J. Phillips. Has an opportunity. Going to rip. Tries to go high and just misses high to the left. Ludwig, lucky that one wasn't a few inches back to the right. Love to hear the scouting report as Phillips just could not handle that pass in tight. A lot of these plays, both sides, top shelf shooting, trying to take advantage of that glove side shot. And a great defensive play there by Jordan Janus, taking it away from Jeremy Wilson. He almost gets scared every single time Wilson has the puck, you know? One minute to play. Here's a breakaway. Aiden Croce. Give it off to Janish. A slap shot. Just misses. A great save by Daniel Ludwig. 
just a great shot by Ludwig moving left to right across the post. An acrobatic kick in the air as he ties across. Really hard to, that was point blank range, the shot there for Janich. And there's Ludwig bringing it into the glove. Just unreal agility, unreal everything in net for him right now. Yeah. His anticipation. Yeah, so. That, that anticipation is just next level. Just being there on that slap shot in the blink of an eye, it's, that's, that's hard to do. Yeah, it really, really hard to do. A handful of saves so far tonight. Spring all the way out. Just the coordination, the practice, and of course all the game reps this season for Ludwig. And here's Temple, 20 seconds left in the first period, just trying to get out of this first period with getting a goal back. Now under. 20, 15 seconds, and there will be a face-off. Two to one, and if you think, I mean, if Temple cuts back on the turnovers, they have a nine-shot le uh, lead with shots on goal, so you would think that they would get one back eventually if they just cut back on the turnovers. Yeah, just cut back on the turnovers, have everyone touch the puck. I feel like, especially on those fast break, three-on-one, two-on-one opportunities, just one guy is trying to make that play. You gotta get everyone involved. You gotta move the defenders, move the eyes of Ludwig, who, as we've seen and just talked about, has done a great job physically moving inside the poles. A final opportunity for Temple. Three seconds left, rips it, tries to go low, and it looks like that is going to do it here at Northeast Skate Zone for the first period. Towson on top, two to one. Head coach Nick Schiavone has to be happy with his team right now. Yeah, it has to be happy. A great start for Towson, especially early. You, you gotta set the tone in these games that have a lot of emotion, and it's just a great job, and, and it's been the best players. It was the best players, Wilson and Arwood, at least statistically so far this season, that showed out here so far. So that will do it from the first period. Two to one, Towson is on top. It is senior night. We are here at Northeast Skate Zone. Playoff implications on the line for Temple. We will be back for the second period. T.U. Ice on YouTube.
and welcome back here for the second period at Northeast Skate Zone. Temple losing to Towson right now, two to one. They got back on their feet a little bit, scoring. Jake Lang got us, got a uh, got Temple on the board, but still, Jake. Not really where they want to be right now. Yeah, a, a lot of turnovers in that first period for the Owls and for both teams, really. The Owls out shooting Towson 17 to 6 with only one goal to show for it. And for Towson, it's been their two top scores, Jeremy Wilson and James Harwood, each with a goal. 18 and 15 now for them on the season mm -hmm. respectively but right now as the players come back on the ice and it looks like an interesting development as Nick Golis number 31 for the hours after Oscar Levin it started the game yeah. Golis is going to come in for the second period interesting developments there most definitely interesting because before the game I was told by players that he was going through concussion protocol, but I guess he's back and he's ready to go. He must have passed concussion protocol. And now it's Nick Golis back out on the ice in place of Oscar Levin, who did let up two goals uh, in that first period. But now Temple is back here on the ice at the start of the second period, starting off with a deck too. Jeremy Wilson looks like they're gonna try and get in the head of Wilson early here in this second period. And on the other side, Ludwig, has just done a phenomenal job moving in between the posts. One Owl's goal, top shelf. And here's a breakaway for Towson, an early opportunity in the second period. But it gets stopped in an early test there on Golis. Golis, you can kind of see, it's just laying out, trying to, trying to prevent it from going behind him, going up against Harwood, testing him with a deke, the backhand flip. Great job by Golis. Yeah, early test. And that I was think all, he passed. That was, I yeah, think that, he passed yeah. that test. <laughs> Laid full out <laughs> split there to, to block that one down. That would have been Harwood again. He, that would have been his second goal. But just 28 seconds in, Temple already letting up a, a very clean opportunity for Towson there. Yeah, we were talking in the break just how quick that first period felt. A lot of stoppages. There's Harwood again testing Golis. Looks like Temple's defense wants to get Golis warm early there, getting his glove warm. Here's back out to Wilson. Just miss low wide right there. Seth Lerner behind the net. Hunter Ringwood still yet to really insert himself into this one, but you got to assume that he is going to be aggressive for the second period. And just right now, the Owls just trying to get that breakaway opportunity, but Towson just always around the puck, at least one guy kind of pushing it away from the Owls, keeping in the offensive zone. So far in the first minute 20 of this second period has been Towson really taking control, control of time of possession. Here's Harwood once again, already has one goal on the night, trying to rip it wide, misses left. Brandon Barrett out there on the ice, 13th goal of the season last night, matching the jersey number. <laughs> He's been, he's been the Owls producer with the goals. It's another great stop by Golis. Got to try and get him going, along with Ringwood, as we've mentioned. Julian Rudolph, who has 10. These are the guys that have got to step up for the Owls right now when it just seems like there's not a lot of action going offensive. Got to bet that the Temple coaching staff is happy with their move of putting in Golis so far, not letting anything get by him. Aiden Croce. Number 39 going low, and that gets blocked away by Ludwig, who has been solid all night. Yeah, great movement defensively for the Tigers as well. You'll give up that shot from about, you know, 20 feet away from the net. A great job around Ludwig as well so far tonight, not allowing guys like Ringwood tall forwards to get in front and impede the path. Here's a face-off in the territory of Towson. You mentioned we didn't see many face-offs in that first period, Jacob. Yeah, not a lot. Now a few stoppages. The Owls have to take advantage of those offensive zone face-offs. Ian Stonefield probing, losing it. And now back in the possession of Towson. But there goes Brandon Barrett. Brandon Barrett having it. Looking for Jake Lang. Brandon Barrett going wide. Getting tripped up a little bit. Moving it back out. Getting tripped by the 
by the stick, number 34. And on Towson. Yeah, Golis is coming off. That's a delayed penalty. And there's going to be a penalty there on Towson. So now here's going to be an opportunity for Temple to tie this game back up. Looks like number 34 coming out. Jack Callahan, the forward. But, but here's an opportunity. It was the second time now the Owls had a power play the last time just just it didn't seem to move it that quickly until very late. Got to start with those crisp passes and right there, a great face-off win. Callahan in the penalty box for two minutes. Bachuski off the bar, second time tonight. First was Rudolph and now Bachuski hitting the bar. You got to assume that's just frustrating for, the, for this Temple team on senior night. Yeah, another shot that, that really going high, trying to sail high up to the top. Haven't seen a lot of low shots, five hole towards the pads. It's a little too high. The right idea, getting those shots, continuing to put them on Ludwig. Harwood, a breakaway, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Harwood, and loses it. Had an opportunity, a clean golden opportunity for James Harwood, but he loses it, and a great job once again by Golis. Yeah, you mentioned Harwood losing it. That was a large part to Golis with the stick. I mean, a lot of goalies, you're taught to really kind of pick that puck out with the glove, follow with the glove, yeah. but right there, great job using the stick from Golis to poke it away. Now it's going to be a face-off in Temple's territory, and with the guy in the penalty box for Towson, you, you don't expect to see those opportunities that easy for them. Yeah, and, and another face-off win for Towson. A great opportunity here for Bachuski. Bachuski giving it off to Ringwood. Back to Bachuski. Just misses wide. A great opportunity. A great look for Bachuski. Had the chance to tie it up 2-2 in this first four minutes of the second period, but unable to do so. And there's a good look there. There's number eight, Joseph Stelasio. Ringwood trying to find Irie. Irie coming back in his fifth year. Bachuski. Ripping it off across the ice. Irie, Temple scanning their options. Bachuski, wristing, just going high. I'm going to go back to that breakaway, Chapes. I'd say 0 a 3 now in those man advantage fast break opportunities for the Owls. You got to convert one of those. It, it, Townsend turning it over, you get a breakaway. Just cannot, cannot make those kind of mistakes in a one goal game. Brandon Barrett. The leading goal scorer for the Owls this season. Almost a turnover trying to find Sauer. Back to Barrett. Just Ten seconds left in crisp. the penalty box. Going low is Sauer, and it gets blocked by Ludwig. Anything low tonight, Ludwig is all over. Yeah, it, all over those low shots. And maybe that's why the goalie changed. Just kind of thinking about it. Attack Levin high on both of those goals. Yeah. Goalless better up top with the glove side, right side glove hand. But Howes, again, the passes just seem just a bit off. Guys having to throw their stick at it just to keep it around the area. Just wasting time. CJ Phillips just missing wide right. And now Jack Callahan is now out of the penalty box and Temple once again cannot take advantage. Ripping low and going up high and hitting the net. 14.54 left in this second period. The score remains two to one. Towson in front. And these opportunities, they keep coming for Temple, but if they don't take advantage, it's gonna be too late sooner. Yeah, yeah, almost closing in on halfway into the period. You gotta, you gotta convert on these opportunities. Yeah. Sooner than later, it'll be too late, but still plenty of time in this second period for Temple to answer. Here's a breakaway. Callahan. Giving it off, number two, Caleb Amadon. Trying to go low, goalless, able to stay in front of it. Flipping it off, Janish. Janish had a slap shot look earlier in the first period. Lansdowne, Malik Lansdowne has it. Loses it. Now back in possession, number 33, Jack Callahan. For Towson. Substitutions here for 
Towson Temple trying to take advantage, but they can't do so. Janish and Lansdow, great few minutes there. Janish trying to get the poke ahead around the defense, and Lansdow keeping an opportunity live, but just no other owls in the area. And now Towson with an opportunity. The star studded James Harwood flipping it inside. Looks like it was number 20, Evan Owenby, who had a look there with the, with the backhand. Evan Owenby, the six foot, 173 pounder from Crofton, Maryland, not able to convert there. But Temple still a hefty lead in the shots on goal, but just not able to find the back of the net right now. Yeah, and you see, see if the game plan changes here in the second period for the Owls. I think the biggest thing, it had to be the turnovers, but there any way attacking the ice, attacking the net. Harwood and Wilson both out there right now for Towson. Temple has to stay on their toes for those two. Both of them scoring the first two goals in the first period. And Between 30 seconds from yeah. each other, I may add. Yeah. Couldn't even blink. <laughs> we were talking about Wilson's goal, <laughs> and then Harwood didn't even let us get a chance. Yeah. Lands down. Trying to find Barrett. Barrett and Ringwood. These two guys that are really leaders in this team and putting up points. Just still yet to insert themselves. Jake Lang, who has already scored tonight, trying to find something. And here's a breakaway. Wilson with an opportunity. And he scores! Jeremy Wilson once again. 19th goal of the season and 35th point on the year. And he continues to be dominant in the ECHA. That was a broken play there, James. Malik Lansdow on the complete other side of the ice right in front of us. Just a, a poorly timed turnover for the Owls. Allowed the breakaway. Wilson was ahead, ahead of the pack. And once he touched that puck, it was one-on-one. -on -one. And again, going back to the opportunities. The Owls have not converted with a man up on the fast break opportunities. And it's been Wilson and Harwood up the ice, converting, and that's why Towson is in front. Irie trying to answer quick, giving it off to Julian Rudolph. Not able to score there. Temple still looking at their options. Now down 3-1 with 12.30 to go in this second period. Weren't able to convert during that penalty, that two minute stretch, and almost a ricochet goal there from, from Nolan Sauer. But now Temple back down two goals and find themselves in the same spot that they were in in that first period. Yeah, it, try, it looked like they're, they're trying to get Ringwood there in front of Ludwig, trying to create some, some blockage there, get, get Ludwig out of his comfort zone in that instance. <laughs> Haven't done that a lot. A lot of guys have just tried to shoot it on net, get it on net. Yeah. And Jacob, in my opinion, <laughs> you can't put that goal on goalless there because that was just a defensive breakdown right yeah. there. Yeah. When you get that that one on none essentially opportunity, really tough. He had that that poke away moments ago, but tough to do yeah. that multiple times over. Barely any time to react as well. I mean, Wilson took it away right around the goal, not too far from it, and and he converted. Here's Stonefield out to C.J. Phillips, and an almost off the skate goal was Bachuski. Ludwig has been just so well, as we've mentioned, moving laterally as Stelasio. Joseph Stelasio. A takedown it's there. Tripping call. Maybe there on Joseph Stelasio. And now Towson with a two-goal lead is going to have an opportunity once again to maybe go up three with 11.48 to go in the second period. Yeah, the Owls are trying to get the deflections in front of Ludwig. Bachutsky hit it wide at... Towson has struggled on the power play, but you need this, this penalty kill right here. Cannot go down three goals way the Owls have struggled offensively. Stelasio, one of two of the Stelasio brothers now in the penalty box for another minute 50. And you can almost feel the energy in this building once again and on senior night, the pent up kind of, not worrisome just yet, but the Temple's gonna have to respond very soon. Seth Luna, the defenseman, ripping into the glove of Daniel Ludwig. And he's been all over the place tonight. 
That's another one of those great plays from Lerner so far in this one. Really, the defenseman taking the puck himself into the offensive zone. He had a play earlier on with just keeping it in the offensive zone, allowing another opportunity. Looking at those defensemen. Phillips, as you mentioned earlier, who's taking on more of a defenseman role. Mm -hmm. Being more involved in the offense, taking some pressure off of the forwards. And you just know this Temple team really missing their senior, Rob Polarski. I mean, seven goals, 12 assists on the season. A huge piece of offense for this Temple team. And, and without him, they're clearly struggling. Yeah. And not only that, of course, you got the leadership on yeah, the bench. The, totally. the, the captain, guy who's going to help through the highs of the highs and the lows of the lows. Someone who's seasoned veteran here on the team. A lot of guys, underclassmen, they, they look up to him. Hard to be out there on the ice on senior night without him. Stelasio in the penalty box for another 50 seconds. And we are approaching the 10-minute mark in the second period. A ripper there was Blake Richmond, but not able to score there. And another missed opportunity. Seeing Stonefield giving it off to C.J. Phillips. Going middle. Here's Brandon Barrett. Brandon Barrett, number 13, going around the net, trying to find something there, and Daniel Ludwig once again with another save. Is that Ludwig or a brick wall there in front of the net for Towson tonight, James? A great job reading behind the net. It's great when goalies have eyes in the back of their head there, and Ludwig sensing where Barrett's coming around. Those wraparounds just so tricky for goalies to pick up. Sensed where he was coming around the net and put it down on the ice. If you wouldn't give the game MVP to Wilson or Harwood, you would have to go Ludwig right now. 10.07 remains in the second period. 20 seconds left for Stelasio in the penalty box. And another time, like I mentioned, first period they were down two goals. Owls finding themselves in the same spot. Yeah, and, and another great job on the penalty kill. Had a very similar situation in the first period, down a goal. This can, again, ignite that offense. You get a big kill. You get the emotions going inside the group. Got really spark in some offense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just under 30 minutes total to play in the rest of this game. Temple trailing by two goals. And they've done a great job here also on the penalty kill, really putting the pressure on Towson, and especially on the defense. A few tips there. Great win on the faceoff. I mean, they're, they're playing like they have the man advantage. But Chusky trying to do the same wraparound that Barrett just did. It looks like Ringwood down by the goal, loses his stick, and the refs call stoppage of play. Penalty is over for Stelasio. Temple back in full force, 9.45 to go in the second. Temple with a 15 lead for shot on goal. Oh, and now there is a penalty, and that's going to be number Rudnick. four, Sam Rudnick. The 5'11", 175-pounder from only Maryland. He's going to be in the penalty box for two minutes. Looked like a slash there tr against Ringwood. Reason why he lost his stick in front. Get the official word in a second. And here's an opportunity that you got to think Temple needs to convert. Stelasio trying to do a little bit of a wrap around there. Back out to Malik Lansdowne. Got to move the puck, especially the way Ludwig has been moving around the net. You've got to complete those passes across the ice to get him moving laterally. Pachuski trying to go middle, but a turnover. Temple able to get it back. Hunter Ringwood trying to go high, pass it, but it gets taken away by Braden Murphy. And now Towson switching roles, trying to get the kill themselves. Yeah, and the, the aggressiveness right up there from Travis Buckley, or Wilson, excuse me, just pushing the pace all over the penalty kill, not allowing the outs to set up their offense. A minute left in the penalty box for Rudnick, and that one is another save for Ludwig. 8.47 left in this second period, 3-2-1. And this is the unit right now, Calabrese sending out Barrett, Rudolph, 
Gross. Really, if all of them have gelled really well yeah. so far. Rudolph now in that defenseman spot. Interesting how they try and maybe try and set him up in the slot. 60 seconds remain in this penalty slot for Temple. A huge opportunity to try for them to cut it to one. A wrister there. Looked like it was just off the side of the net for Brandon Barrett. And Towson able to clear once again. But these are the two really best guys. <laughs> the scoreboard has gone off here at yep. the skate zone. Looked like there as the players looking up. Around 8.30 I saw and 40 seconds left on the penalty. There's going to be a stoppage of play until they figure this one out. But going back to the line for the Owls out there, I mean, you, you like to have Rudolph and Barrett on opposite sides of that, that slot. Both of them probably the two best in terms of slap shots and wrist shots around that area. Yeah. They've struggled with passes the whole night. And, and one of the reasons they only have one goal up there on the board, well, not anymore. <laughs> the board is off, but... As Those of right now, as of right going. now, it's just practice. <laughs> um, but I want to ask you, Jacob, do you do you think that since before the game, Temple's aware that Westchester takes care of business and it's on Temple to just win and get in? Do you think this is starting to, to creep into their minds a little bit? Yeah, I I I think so. And and as players, you just got to try and block that out and, and just you know treat it as another game. And you know if if, if the end result. You, you've got to play just for the game itself. You, you cannot be thinking about other results. I know the postseason is, is creeping up. Yeah. A lot of these guys are, you know, looking how other teams are doing. Mm -hmm. uh, but but you got to play the game. you, you got to en enjoy the moment, enjoy senior night tonight. Of course, as you mentioned, some more implications. But you, you gotta you got to just play the game that's in front of you. And, and a lot of pressure. I see, I see former... Temple Hockey players here, alumni of this team in attendance. So you just may think that that might be on the minds of, of these younger guys on, on the Temple team. They're still trying to figure out this, uh, this scoreboard situation is still black right now. Um, it, looks, it looks like it was around 8.30 left with, with 40 seconds left on the penalty there. And Temple still down 3-1. to one. Um, had some technical difficulties tonight, some the microphone yeah. issues <laughs> earlier on and yeah. trying to trying to sabotage the senior night festivities here. But I mean here here's an extra timeout for both kind of coaches and players just to kinda get word, get some get some water here in a, in a three three to one game and, and for the hours got to limit the turnovers you've got to you've got to take advantage on man advantage Towson turning over almost just to, at the same rate that yeah. Temple is leading to man advantage and again 0 for 3 even though it's not really going to go up in the stat sheet you've yeah. got three four opportunities where the Owls have had three on two two on one breaks and Towson has converted those opportunities as the lights, we've got lights. Oh, and we're back. <laughs> 821 it says in this second period and 36 left for, it was Rudnick, Sam Rudnick in the penalty box for a final 36 seconds before he is able to exit. Once again, I'll go over the goal scorers. Jeremy Wilson, two goals on the night and James Harwood with one and the goal scorer for Temple was Jake Lang and he was assisted by Aiden Croce. Yeah, a great goal by Lang and a wonderful interview on on the ice hockey social media pages for Meg Doyle doing a great job talking about the goal and what it means for him. But now I got some chatter going on and see which team comes out with the energy out of this timeout. Back in action. Eight minutes to go in this second period. Temple really looking for something here on senior night at home. Trying to figure something out before this final period in a two-hole, two-goal deficit. And almost a disastrous breakaway that would have resulted in a Wilson shot on goal. Another opportunity, giving it off to Harwood. 
the dynamic duo for Towson. Just another great job by Wilson there, understanding the situation. Under 15 seconds, just carrying that puck out and now even strength. Four on two for Temple. Julian Rudolph has it. And another just bad pass there from Rudolph trying to find Gross. Arister there from Sauer from the neutral zone, not able to get in the net there. And there's Golis flicking it away, hits the net, and that's going to be another stoppage of play. Yeah, another opportunity. That's a pass to Bocheski that, that you've got to connect. Rudolph trying to lead him in front, but just kind of hits it, not, not lazily necessarily, but just kind of put the stick out there, tips it away, and just kind of disrupts the rush. Those, those are the opportunities at the Owls. At least you've got to get a shot off and a potential rebound in that opportunity. And now a face off in Temple's territory. But Brandon Barrett takes it away. Here's another opportunity. Can Temple convert? Brandon Barrett giving it off to Julian Rudolph. And it gets saved by Ludwig once again. And the bench by Towson giving him his applause because he has been a brick wall, as you said, all night, Jacob. Just nothing is getting past this guy. Yeah, and, and we just said the Owls to get a shot. Oh, they got a shot, and then a great save followed. Stonefield, the defenseman, joining the rush, got right in front for, t for a potential rebound, but just a, a phenomenal job by Ludwig here tonight. Temple currently not able to catch a break. Richmond was there on the faceoff, and now here's Ian Stonefield Back on defense, retrieving the puck. And Towson able to regain possession. Number 22, Zach Chasen had it for Towson. 5'6", 155 from Annapolis, Maryland. Excuse me, Bel Air, Maryland. Here's Richmond, the senior. Blake Richmond pulling a reverse, giving it back out to Barrett, trying to go low. Excuse me, that was C.J. Phillips. Now fighting for the puck on the right side by the Temple bench. And able to pull it away is Harwood. He is a threat. Here goes Harwood, ripping a shot. Almost gets it to go on the bottom right of the net. But a great play by Golis. Here's Croce. Croce just missing top right. Opportunities back and forth for both teams, but no goal scored. Here's Malik Lansdowne. The counter opportunity for the Owls there, Croce. Ball double players really falling tonight on the ice. But Croce, just a great move, just shot it high as both teams trying to fill up the shot category with under six minutes left in the second. Yeah, you mentioned it, 5.30 now in this second period. Shots on goal in favor of, Te of Temple, 32 to 17. Here's Evan Ownby giving it off to the star Wilson. And there was Harwood with another shot on goal, but a save by Golis. There's going to be a faceoff. A little bit of chatter there at the net. And, Golis and defending his ground. And looking at really just that sequence has kind of defined the game in a way. The Owls in the offensive zone it, it lose the puck. There's no one on the blue line to take it. Towson is there and really just attacks the offensive zone with ease. The Owls defense gets clumped together allowing players to join the rush off the bench and, and leads to more opportunities in front of the net and again a large reason why the Tigers are in front by two goals so far. Goal is letting up one to Wilson. Wilson having his way tonight with two in the first two periods, 19 goals on the season. But Golis has been solid so far, 5'10", 175 pounds from Sequoia, New York. And yet another opportunity missed for Temple. And we are under the five minute mark here in Northeast Philadelphia. Temple remains in their two goal deficit on senior night. A lot of suspense now here. Really wanting to get one before the end of this period to make it a one goal game or else they're going to have a lot on their plate in this final period. 
And to kind of quote a uh, great tight end in the NFL, George Kittle, about momentum. It, it, it feels like it is tangible in this game. The Owls got momentum in that first period with the goal from Lang, but ever since then, there hasn't been that big play, either from a man advantage or on the power play, yeah. that has gotten this crowd back into it, gotten the guys on the bench excited. They yeah. need that play here. You mentioned end the, the crowd. Second. You almost can feel the energy is, is kind of missing in a sort. The nervousness you think may be creeping in to the heads of these Temple Owls. 4-10 remains in the second period. Here's a rip by Gross. Misses high. Ludwig staying strong in net. Behind the net. Trying to find Bachuski. Bachuski. Gets stopped once again, and there is Ludwig. Can't get by him tonight. Great movement, though, from Bacheski entering the middle of the zone, and, and a great job by Stonefield moving around, finding him in the middle of the slot. You've got to prevent, you've got to prevent those opportunities. Three fifty to go in this second period, and like you mentioned, that that possession right there for Temple was a not was a lot better of a looking opportunity. There it wasn't as forced. Yeah, not as forced. Just gotta have some more movement around the front of the net. Out there for Temple is Jake Lang, Aiden Croce, Brandon Barrett, C.J. Phillips, and Ian Stonefield. Here's Aiden Croce. Looking to make this a one goal game and an opportunity by Brandon Barrett, but he just loses it. Looked like he might have had a backhand shot, but couldn't get it to go. Looked like it was Buckley, the Newtown Square, Pennsylvania native, tipping it out of the stick of Barrett. Looked like he was going right, left, backhand, and moments away from getting that second goal. By far the best, would have been the best look of the second period. And here once again is Wilson on the breakaway. And he misses there. And he put his hands up. He's looking for a call and it looks like he will get it. I I don't know. I don't know where the to see what the call was, was there. Once again, another defensive breakdown for Temple. Just way too good of a look for as good as a player that Jeremy Wilson is. Yeah, and another turnover just his speed in the open space and you just see Draves just trying to move as fast as he can to catch up with it Cody Draves the freshman defender and we'll see the dis discussion here as Towson bench shearing so it seems that something has gone in their favor call wise we're going to wait and hear what the official ruling is. But right now, Jacob, you can kind of feel that the momentum is really all in Towson's favor right now. Yeah, and we talk about the big name players doing big day player things in Wilson and Harwood, and they're, they're dictating the pace. We talked about it in the open. The Owls had to come out and dictate the pace early on. They have not done that. Towson has been the aggressor. The Owls have looked sloppy offensively and has allowed the visitors to play very strong offensively, very strong in transition, and put pressure on the Owls, and it, and it looks like it's gonna be a penalty, penalty shot. Penalty shot for Jeremy Wilson. This is the one guy that Temple does not wanna have out there. So here is Jeremy Wilson on the penalty shot. One on one on Golis. Wilson, and he's not able to put it away. A great job by Golis. Able to stand strong there and keep this game at a two-goal deficit. If the Owls come back and can either tie and or win Gotta this game, that. this is the moment right here. It, hopefully, you know, one of the crowd to get into it, the players on the bench too. It, that, that's a moment. Goalless, stepping up, making a huge save to keep this a two-goal game. Taking the approach as well of kind of getting out of the goal and, and facing Wilson face to face there, um, stood his ground very well. And here's Ringwood, an opportunity. Another opportunity for Irie. Not able to get by. Oh, a great opportunity there for Temple. 
Just can't catch a break here tonight. Yeah, but again, you've got to give credit to Ludwig there, standing his ground, Ringwood right in close with the behind the back kind of shot. Irie was there as well, pushing in on the crease. Mm -hmm. But Ludwig stood his ground so far tonight. Under two minutes in the second period now, 1.58 to go. Ludwig with another save. We await a faceoff in Towson territory. So a lot just happened in that, in that <laughs> last two minute stretch. Temple with a few good looks. And then Wilson, kind of a confusing uh, circumstance right there when he's gonna get a penalty shot. But Golis, like we mentioned, able to stand strong. And you mentioned something that we, we might have to remember at the end of this game if Temple can make a comeback. Yeah, not only was that the first penalty shot we've seen this season, of course, in honor of All-Star Weekend taking place in the NHL right now. But yeah, a big play. Got to keep the movement up in front of the net. It feels like the Owls getting these tough shots. Hopefully one will go through. Stoppage of play real quick. Going to be back in Towson territory. A minute 43 in this second period. 3-2-1 is your score. And if Temple doesn't do something quick here in the final minute 43, they're going to have a lot of work to do in this final period. Yeah, a lot of work to do and try and prevent Towson from getting their second win of the season. But yeah, it, it, it starts with the puck on the string, getting it to everyone and getting those rebounds there. Ludwig, he's been taking care of business, but when that puck comes back out, you gotta be ready. There's Bachuski right there. Would have had a look if he was in the right spot. But Ludwig batting it away. And now Temple fighting to get back in scoring position. Back out to Nolan Sauer. Minute remains here at Northeast Skate Zone. Janish on the ice. Barrett on the ice. Lang on the ice. Phillips and Stonefield in the backside. Stonefield. Almost a turnover. Out to Barrett. An opportunity in the final minute for Temple. And Barrett trying to retrieve it. And here's Janish. Jordan Janish getting tripped down. A lot of contact there behind the net. Arm is up. Looks like a delayed penalty. Here's is coming out of goal. Golis not in goal right now. 32 seconds left on the clock. And we're going to see what the substitutions are here. 32.3 left. Jacob, what does Temple have to do in, this, in these final 30 seconds here in the second? You got to keep putting the puck on net as, as Chase and going to the box for the Tigers. You've got to keep the puck movement going around. Got to get bodies in front of the net because right now, straight shots at Ludwig are not doing the, doing the job. You, you've got to get deflections. Starts with winning face-offs like that. But you've got to get players in front of the net. 20 seconds remain in the second period. Number 22, Zach Chasen in the penalty box for the final 15 seconds. Temple needing a good look to go into the final period here. And it hits the bar. Was that a goal? It looked like Ruled it went inside. no goal. Hit the bar down right by the, by the line, but ruled no goal there by the official. And that is a brutal break there for Temple. Yeah, I mean, James, that, that was a, I don't know. It looked like it went around the bar and out. A game of, of inches as both of the teams clearing the way with 20 minutes left. A brutal break there at the end of the second period. A great look. You think the third time, I think, that it has hit the bar on a shot for Temple here tonight. But Temple now at the end of the second period, trailing the Towson Tigers 3-2-1 as we await the third period. And as I mentioned, Temple going to have a lot of work to do in this final period. We are going to be back in 15 minutes here at Northeast Skate Zone for the final period. T. Weiss on YouTube.
and welcome back into Northeast Skate Zone here in Northeast Philadelphia for some TU Ice Hockey. It is the third period and Temple still trailing three to one to the Towson Tigers with 20 minutes to go with the playoff implications on the line, win and in Jacob. What does this Temple team have to do here? It, it starts with the, the passing in the offensive zone, setting up guys in front of the net. Right now, Daniel Ludwig, the goalie from Abingdon, Maryland for Towson, has done a phenomenal job moving left to right, right to left in front of the net. You're not going to get a lot past him on straight shots without a lot of passing and deception. The Owls have a minute 28 man yep. advantage. These next minute 28 could be a tone setter for the period, especially down two goals, which isn't insurmountable. It starts with the energy. It starts with the execution offensively, James. This third period starting with a huge opportunity. Like you said, a minute 28 left on the penalty. It was number 22, Zach Chasen from Bel Air, Maryland. He is in the penalty box for another minute 20. And Temple down two goals and needing something very quickly here to bounce back in this game. Once again, a win and in situation for the playoffs. Michael Irie getting blocked once again, just right at Ludwig there. Just not, not too many quality looks for, for Temple. Yeah, and they get a man advantage on the far side of the ice. Gotta kind of try to push that down and, and force the defenders for Towson to come up. Hunter Ringwood on the breakaway. And once again, blocked away by Ludwig. Just one of the best looks that Temple has had all night through these three periods and still unable to convert. Hunter Ringwood skates off the ice, clearly frustrated. Yeah, that's an, another opportunity. We've been talking about it throughout the entire game, those one-on-none, -on two-on-one, three-on-two opportunities. That's another one. Great move by Ringwood. Set himself up, got around the defender, but Ludwig, just great job reading his motion, reading where his body was leaning and got the save. Here's Sauer at the top of the neutral zone. Ripping it was Brandon Barrett. But Jacob... I don't know if Temple is playing down to their opponent, but Towson certainly does not look like a 1-20 hockey team. Yeah, they, they do not. They've, they've set the pace offensively, and they've, they've taken advantage of Temple mistakes. We mentioned Jeremy Wilson. Then right around the blue line whenever Temple is, is turning it over. Another one right there to Sauer. Wilson right there. Harwood right there. Ready to pounce. Playing with a lot of energy. Just seems like everybody's kind of on the wrong note here for Temple. Nobody's on the right page. Everybody's Starts on the same here. page here for Temple. Here is Jeff Gross. Has an opportunity and just misses wide right. Once again, batted away by Ludwig. Sauer loses it. Loses it again. And a turnover for Temple. Just can't afford to have these mistakes with 18.30 left in the third period. And now, Zach Chasen out of the penalty box. Jordan Janus has it behind the net. Joined by Barrett and Gross. Barrett has it, trying to make a decision, but he loses it to, to Evan Owenby. Sam Rudnick on the ice, joined by James Harwood. And Braden Murphy on the breakaway is Harwood, going high and blocked away. CJ Phillips taking it away. As we mentioned, C.J. Phillips switching to defense because of the injury of Cal Moran taking his spot. Here is Travis Buckley giving it back up to Temple. Past the two minutes in in the third period. Ian Stonefield gets it taken away. Just quick turnovers for the Owls. And even though right now you look at the shots, don't even look at the score. Three to one, Towson, but 48 to 23 had shots in favor of the Owls. Hey, they've, they've been getting the shots on goal, but just in between the blue lines, if you will. Just not crisp play for Temple. Stoppage of play here, 17, 12 left on the clock. And Temple, they, they got a victory last night over TCNJ, 5-2. Got them above the 500 mark, but now teetering back on that line to where right now if they lose this game, back to 11-11 and, and not securing that playoff, playoff clinch. 
Yeah, just uh, points that, that you need, especially in such a tightly contested ECHA this season. Temple has seen a lot of those teams right here. William Patterson, George Mason. Yeah. You most definitely do not want to discredit Towson by any means. Mm. They, they for sure have come to play tonight. It, you can kind of tell they came in here with a chip on their shoulder. Yeah, exactly. They wanted to play spoiler, and they're doing a yep. great job right now. Temple, three minutes through in the final period. Here at home, senior night. Jeff Gross giving it off to Stelasio. Stelasio going high and wide. Malik lands down, getting tripped up. Jeff Gross trying to go in the middle. And once again stopped by Ludwig. His bench continues to cheer him on. I mean, they're going to have to give him a million hugs after <laughs> this game because Ludwig has been phenomenal so far. And now Temple making some substitutions, throwing in Lang, throwing in Rudolph, throwing in Ringwood, throwing in the big guns <laughs> pretty much, trying to get something going here. I mean, it's just impressive. We're a shot away from 50 for Temple, only one goal across. And as you mentioned, the hugs for the Towson team. They, they've really turned it over almost as many times as Temple has, and Ludwig had to made, make some tough saves in front of the front of the net. Trying to go high is Sauer. Back out there is Jake Lang, the only goal scorer so far tonight. And Towson now having it controlled in the back of the net and pulling away. Number 33, Jack Callahan from Ellicott City, Maryland. Coming away. Number two, Caleb Amadon, but stoppage of play here. And we are four minutes through, 16 minutes left on the clock. And Temple still remains in this two goal hole. A lot on their plate, a lot of work to do. Brandon, ba Brandon Barrett out there for Temple, the leading goal scorer. If there's one person that you'd think could answer the bell, it is Brandon Barrett. Brandon Barrett. Going around the net, probing. Going back to Aiden Croce. Aiden Croce putting it in front of the net, but a turnover there once again. It did, that's just about miscommunication, and, and it looked like Barrett trying to do that spinorama again, trying to set up his guys in front, trying to battle speed with speed, if you will, James. It just, Croce thought he had a man behind him, did not. It's been those kind of things all night for Temple. A breakaway, Brandon Barrett, Stonefield, ripping it. And once again, another save. It looked like Brandon Barrett was just trying to find the small crevice on the left side of the net, but wasn't able to get it done. Just seems like it, for the Owls, there just it seems to be a ghost guy out there for Towson on those fast breaks. Then either another defenseman or another goalie in there alongside Ludwig, just the way he's played. It was Evan Owenby with the near goal opportunity, the six foot, 173 pounder from Crofton, Maryland. Owen B got tripped up right around in front of the net there, in front of Golis. So stoppage of play here. It's going to be a faceoff in Temple territory. 15.07 left on the clock. 3-1 remains the score. Facing off is Bachuski. Taking it away is Stelasio. Stelasio, a two-on-two. Giving it off to Jeff Gross, and that is another glove save for Ludwig. Lights out all night. He is in a zone right in front of the pipes here to the left of us here at the Northeast Skate Zone. I mean, just glove side, just so calm, cool, and collected there, not allowing the chance. He, he knows he had two Temple players moving right in front of him. Nice choice for the catch. You like to see a lot of goal score, but sometimes you got to appreciate phenomenal goalkeeping, you know? Yeah, almost, again, just like a pitcher at baseball exactly. throwing yeah. a shutout. Yeah. One go away from a shutout now for Ludwig outside of that lane goal. Time keeps ticking here in Northeast Philly. 14.30 left. And you got to imagine that Temple keeps looking at that clock knowing that they need two goals not to just get ahead but to tie this thing. Great play there from Rudolph. Another one where it looked like Wilson again right around that blue line waiting for another turnover and another opportunity. Rudolph with the takeaway. Whiffs on the shot. And he falls down. Just a missed opportunity once again for Julian Rudolph. And Temple another delayed penalty. 
Temple with it back, and here's a delayed penalty here. So Temple with an opportunity for 14.03. And look at this shots on goal, doubled in favor of Temple. And just as you mentioned, just one able to get by Ludwig all night and Jack Lang. Just a lot of opportunities, and that was number 22. That was number 22, Zach Chasen, once again. He's gonna be in the penalty box for another two minutes. It's gonna be Hunter Ringwood on the faceoff in Towson territory. So we'll need something quick here. Yeah, we've talked about the breakaways, but the power play, too, has been another part of it. A lot of Tigers, you mentioned Chasen, second penalty. They've been going in the box, and the house just have not taken advantage as the arm up there from the official. And it looks to be just a stoppage, but yeah, it, they got to convert on the power play, James. And yeah. at what point, if, if you're a Temple, are, are you looking to, I know it's still somewhat early on in the third, but kind of know it's creeping into their mind when goalless is going to come out and they try and put that extra man out. Yep. Under the 14 minute mark here for Temple, remaining down two scores. A minute 30 left on the power play for Temple. Going across, trying to find Irie, unable to connect. Ringwood going through the middle in the slot. But Chusky has it. Giving it back out to Malik Lansdowne. Lansdowne back to Bachuski. Bachuski trying to find the middle where Stelasio was, but still unable to connect. Temple trying to find that slim opportunity to rip one. And going high is Hunter Ringwood. Hunter Ringwood staying quiet so far on his senior night. Trying to find something here. Under the 13 minute mark. Under the minute mark on the penalty play. And almost deflected in off a of skate. Off of Towson. And a score! Stelasio breaks the seal for Temple and they cut it to one. Great play in front of the Nets. At Ludwig trying to look behind him. That's the misdirection I was talking about earlier. Getting his eyes moving one way. The puck is in another direction right in front of the net. And Stelasio in front of the net just flips it up and in. How to beat a good goalie is through misdirection and movement around in front of the crease. And, and just a great job for Stelasio being ready when the moment was called upon and now just a one goal game. And I mentioned Ringwood right before that, waiting to insert himself into this game, and there he goes with his 18th assist on the season. Leads Temple on the year in assists. The assistant captain doing assistant captain things yep. there, getting his other guys going right in front of the net. Oh, plenty of time for the Owls. A one goal deficit for Temple. Brandon Barrett trying to find something. This game now all of a sudden back in reach with 12 minutes to go here at Northeast Skate Zone. Energy kind of coming back into the building here on senior night. Nolan Sal rip one gets blocked away by Caleb Abaddon. And once again, that was number eight, Joseph Stelasio, the 6'1", 175 pounder from Glenside, Pennsylvania. Was able to score that one. And Hunter Ringwood from Schwenksville, Pennsylvania, the senior being honored tonight gets the assist, his 18th on the season. And Under the 12 minute mark, and it is three to two, still in favor of Towson, but Temple getting a little bit more momentum. You talk about that momentum, the, the juice, the play we've been talking about is another play in front. And you can see the crowd, the parents, <laughs> especially of these seniors, starting to get back into it. Temple needing all the energy that they can get. Approaching the final half of this third period. Here's Blake Richmond losing it. Back to Towson. CJ Phillips on defense. Takes it away as Phillips. Back, and here's a breakaway. Owen B. And he scores right back at it. Is Towson. Oh my, what an answer by the Tigers. Evan Owen B. Another turnover by Temple leading to the Towson goal. 
an opportunity for Bochuski in the offensive zone, lost it, had a man with him, and Towson has done so well tonight at moving counterattacks off of turnovers from the goals from Wilson, and now Owen B joining the party. Once again, another top shelf goal too on Golis, top left, no doubt about it. And how about just Towson taking advantage of all the mistakes that Temple has made so far tonight? And here is James Harwood giving it a rip. Harwood clearly loves scoring right after one of his teammates <laughs> scores. But, I mean, Jacob, that, that goal is just, that's got to be killer for just the morale of this Temple team right now. With, with 10.40 to go in this final period, they cut it to one, and then a simple turnover just like that, and now their spark is gone. Yeah, and again, it, right there, Lang had an opportunity. A three on one for Towson. Almost a turnover, and it is. Back in favor of Temple. Far from over here, folks. 10.20 to go in this game here on senior night. Ripping it into the slot is Hunter Ringwood. Ringwood has it, ripping it, just goes wide. Ringwood had a great look. Here's Lang, losing it. Sour. Both teams seem very discombobulated out there. A lot of just loose pucks, guys skating into one another. I you see the tired yeah, legs you, out you, there, you, especially for the Owls. You see the tired legs, and that's what I was going to say, how it is so impressive that, that OMB was able to take it away and respond so quickly after that Temple score. Uh, just, just a cold-blooded goal there, going top shelf like you mentioned. Nine thirty to go for Temple. Four to two is the score. Scores tonight are two for Wilson, one for Harwood, and one for Owen B. Scores for Temple are Lang and Stelasio. Temple still doubling in shots on goal, fifty-four to twenty-seven, but not mattering right now as they still are in a two-goal deficit at the nine minute mark in this final period. An opportunity and a great save on the shin of Goas. Could have been the dagger there, Jacob. Yeah, another turnover. Been the message of the night. And it's just so tough. And a score! A quick answer, but Shusky makes it four to three, and Temple back in reach of this thing. Yeah, just a great job for Bachewski. I mean, just a great job off of the, the hit from Gross. Gross lost it, looked like a broken play, and Bacheski just ripping it on net. And we talk about the unexpected nature of goalies. You got, you got um, Golis, who's had just some turnovers come right at him. He's had to react quickly. I mean, right there, Ludwig just very quickly had to react where the puck was at. And sooner or later, it was right behind. I him. was just about to say, Jacob, how are we going to get a read on this game? As soon as you think one team is dead, they just surprise you and score right there. And so the third goal scorer of the night for Temple, Ryan Bachuski. But Temple still got to stay solid on defense. You know what Towson did after their last goal. A yeah. breakaway. Sauer. Aiden Croce. Sauer. Just missing. Ludwig with the save. At the eight-minute mark, four to three. Towson still in front, but Temple back in reach. Hey, going back to the first matchup between these two teams, Temple won four to one in control. This one back and forth, as we mentioned before, really putting the records aside in this tightly contested game. Seen some mistakes for the teams, the resiliency out there fighting back. A few shots on goal for Temple, not able to, not able to convert. We are under the eight minute mark here. 7.53 to go, 4-3 to three in favor of the Tigers. Substitutions for Temple, Ringwood, Rudolph. We have Lang, we have Lansdowne, and we have number 18, Dakota Draves, out there on the ice. Excuse me, Stelasio. And you talk, well, was Draves, Draves. You talk <laughs> about the, the fans getting into it as well. We see multiple yeah. fans standing here. Just a, just a great crowd here at the Skate Zone for one of the final home games before the playoffs here for the Owls. 
Don't want to get too ahead of ourselves, but the remaining three games on the schedule for Temple after this shot on goal right here will be, J will be February 9th against Canisius at home. The next night they will go on the road to play Lehigh. And then on the 16th, they will be back at the skate zone for the final game of the regular season, and they will take on Westchester. Those are the final three games of the season for Temple. But right now, their main focus is this one goal deficit with a win and in situation for the playoff. 7-18 to go. Jacob, what does Temple have to do right now to tie this thing up? Win the faceoffs, limit the turnovers. We've been saying it all night, but it's really given Towson not only their goals with their counter opportunities, but just killed Temple offensively. And I'm looking in like three or four minutes, you're probably gonna have an extra attacker on there with goalists coming out. The passes are gonna be key, getting everyone involved. Going over the head is Stonefield. Evan Owenby, a scorer in this contest here tonight, had a chance at it, but gives it up. Stonefield has it, loses it, back to Owenby. Owenby gives it off. Wilson had it for a moment. Wilson and Harwood, the top scorers out there for Towson. A rip gets deflected on the skate of Jake Lang. Harwood has it and hit the net. It's going to be a stoppage of play. 6.32 left on the clock. You see a little smile there from Jake Lang. He, he's, he's feeling it right now, skating off of the ice. These guys are his... beat up. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that was a line drive shot from Caleb Ab Abin in the forward, charging right in, and Lang took it off the leg. Got to win this faceoff for the Owls. Got to get back in the offensive zone. Key faceoffs in the final 6.30 here of the third period. A lot at stake right now for the Owls. Can they answer in these final moments? Stelasio out there, a goal scorer of course, Jeff Gross as well. Lerner and Lansdowne on the backside, protecting Golis. Jeff Gross has it swinging around the back of the net. He's gonna find Stelasio. We are under the six minute mark here at the skate zone. Lerner, Bachuski, a goal scorer as well. Just missing, looked like that was another shot on goal, but a great save by Ludwig. A lot of commotion in front of him. How could he even see that? Yeah, so so tight in there. Uh, you've, you've just got to give him credit. I mean, he had three goals for Temple. S a second one was a misdirection, didn't really see it. And the third one, a great shot by, from Bachuski in a lost play. 60 shots and three goals allowed. That is a, a phenomenal percentage there from Ludwig tonight. Temple staying on pace of doubling the shots on goal compared to Towson. And Jake, you mentioned approaching that time where Temple's going to have to add an extra opportunity of a scorer here. You said around the three, four minute mark? Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking that they'll pull the, pull the trigger on, on goalless at this point. Got to get it in the offensive zone. Got to maintain control so you have some leeway as Barrett gets decked down. Some big hits here. We'll see. I mean, got to keep it in the offensive zone if you're the Owls. Totally agreeing with you. Not the time to be conservative here for Temple. Here's Janish. Janish going around the net. Commotion in front. Stonefield, ripping it, going low. A great block away by Ludwig. Back to Janish, 43. He's gonna give it a rip. Almost a deflection in and another save by Ludwig. CJ Phillips trying to go low. Anything low tonight, Ludwig is all over. Yeah, just tr have to get it up in the air, maybe for a stick deflection as well. Just misdirections have really w been where the Owls have gotten their goals outside of that First line drive shot from Lang in the first. And approaching the four minute mark here in the final period, this is where times start to get tensed here, Jacob. Yeah, just gotta keep it in the offensive zone, switching out lines, just trying to dump it in, get guys to chase after it so you have enough time for another man to come on. Under the four minute mark, 3.55 to go. 
Laying out there, Towson clearing. And in icing, now, I mean, if I, if, I to go. if I was a coaching staff right now, it looks like they're, they're talking to each other as well on the bench. It got the notepad out as well for Coach Calabrese. I'd say three minutes is when Golis comes out. If, if, I were, if I were a Nostradamus here, as looks like laying down again, just, just been beat up. You could see it. You could see his face through his through his helmet. There, he is just really beaten up so far. And, and Jeff Gross is going to come out come out on the ice to replace him. Here's Hunter Ringwood, the senior. Big moment for him. Can he ring that bell? Hunter Ringwood, a great pass and a great look for Jeff Gross. That's a look that you want to see, though, for Temple. Yeah, Temple has done a good job moving behind the net to set up. We saw it a lot with Barrett multiple times with a wraparound shot, yeah. using speed and deception behind Ludwig. Even though he said he, we might, he might have eyes in the back of his head earlier, yeah. it's just hard to see where the puck is at when you've got that movement. You assume head coach Adam Calabrese may be making the change to get Golis out of net and get that extra guy on the ice. Going to see what coach Calabrese does as we just hit the three-minute mark. A stoppage of play right at the three-minute mark. It looks like a guy's down for Towson. And, and this, this could be huge. This is, it looks like he's holding the, his arm. We're going to see the number. It, it might be Wilson. And, and I mean, Towson bench clearly upset, and that is Jeremy Wilson, the star player. The star player for Towson. Asking for a trainer is the bench, and he's clearly shaken up, holding that right arm. Unfortunate to see. Fortunate to see for Towson, the goal scorer of, tw of two times here tonight, Jeremy Wilson, have a trainer coming out to check on him. Yeah, and it looks like he's thriving in pain a little bit. Unfortunate to see. And the, and the Tigers coaching staff definitely voicing their frustration there of a potential penalty, which would be huge at this juncture, but just hoping that Wilson, who's been a force in this game, is okay. I mean, that, this, this is huge for, uh, for Towson. This could, this could really hurt them if, he, if he's not able to return, but... We're not going to make any assumptions right now. It looked like he was he was holding that right arm, but he's getting medical attention as we speak. Three minutes exactly on the game clock. Refs, refs coming over just under us. Going to see if we're going to get a call. Could be, could really hurt Temple here in this final three minutes. Looks like Hunter Ringwood is a little upset. Maybe, maybe anticipating a call against the Owls. And, and great they, to see Wilson up, skating over is... And here's Wilson. Ha, has helmet off. Oh, looks like maybe got hit in the abdominal area was, uh, was Jeremy Wilson. Yeah, and, and some, some tension. Some tension here between both teams. I, I mean, you, you see some, some stairs going on across the bench. And it looks like a five-minute major. At least shown up on the scoreboard yes. here, James, to Stelasio. Stelasio. It's going to be Joseph Stelasio, a goal scorer here tonight. Definitely un unfortunate there. It's going to be a penalty of five minutes in these final three minutes of play here. So it's going to be huge, and that's just, that doesn't help Temple in any way there. Yeah, I cannot have that type of penalty. Late in the game, down one. When you're trying to get an extra man, when you're trying to get the energy up. And now really the best. And Temple's got to get an odd man goal here. And now Towson, as you said, odd man goal. Towson with the five to four advantage out on the ice under the three minute mark. Temple really Against the odds right now, gonna need something to go their way if they wanna tie this thing up. 2.45 to go. Temple, Barrett, has it. Trying to find something. 
Trying to find Ringwood. Lands down. Looking ahead. Towson with an opportunity. Bear able to stay in front and play great defense. Yeah, Barrett, it, it, some of the Owls kind of looking for a penalty there. It was close. Barrett was trying to undercut as Admondson was trying to push it ahead, but not going to get the call there. You just got to play keep away and, and hope that you get some help across the ice as Lerner comes up. Barrett tried to go to the middle to find Ringwood. Got deflected and almost went in there on the side. And, and right now, now there's a lot of commotion there. Barrett pushing the goalkeeper, but it looked like Ludwig, who's been phenomenal all night, is still able to keep that one out of the net. Yeah, it, it, right now, tensions boiling over on as both, as both teams. Yeah. Yes, some frustration. Yeah, uh, yeah it, it looked like it was right there underneath Ludwig. Yeah. It did not trickle back yet. We saw some yeah, fans standing up. In front of him, yeah. That def from, our, from our angle, it looked like Ludwig was able to keep that one in front of him. Terrific placement by Ringwood on that on the shot attempt. Um, but it looks like Ludwig a little bit shaken up after the play. He got pushed back into his own net by, by Barrett. But still, 2.03 left on the clock, and Temple remains down one. That See the referee just kind of checking in on him, seeing, you know, everything okay, giving the head nod. You can feel, though. Towson really wanting to steal this one, and Temple feeling anxious in the in these final moments as they they know what they need to do, but they can't quite get it. Yeah, a face-off that they need to win, and they do. Temple has it, Ringwood, and he gets collected by Ludwig. A minute 56 left on the clock. Towson trying to escape Northeast Skate Zone with a win to spoil Temple Senior Night. Yeah, and, and right now, the, the time is on Towson's side, but plays like that is as a timeout called by Temple. Plays like that, quick shots on net, force Ludwig to cover up, because again, in those situations with a man down, it just takes one rebound and a hit in to equalize this game, yeah. especially when it's not five on five. Especially, you're down a man, and, and you need just any type of ricochet. Just keep winning the face-offs, keep working around the crease, and just just keep keep trying to fire it on net. And Jacob, in this timeout, called by Coach Calabrese, what do you think he's telling his team, and what what do they need in this final minute 56 to notch this thing up? I I think it's keep playing physical, but control. I, I think yeah. right there. Ringwood, there's frustration, and, and rightfully so. It's been a, a disappointing game here for the Owls as it looks like they're bringing out a fifth guy to even strength. Yep. Smart smart move in this scenario. Even strength with goalless. You're playing, playing the risk here, but a play with risk. energy. Play with energy with the crowd here in a tight game. Empty net for Temple. Goalless out. But Chusky, trying to control it. Rudolph has it in the corner. Surrounded by three Towson defenders. No goalie in net. T Towson able to collect. Ludwig, another glove save. But yep, in the first period, it was Levin. He led up two. They made the switch to goalless. Led up another two. But now in this final minute, 56, no goalie. And an extra man out there. Five. Five on five for Temple. And those are the shots for the Azza. That went all the way down, just missed. But these are the quick stoppages, giving Temple more time with time not on their side. This could very well be the longest minute 35 <laughs> we'll ever experience. <laughs> College basketball <laughs> has a good competition with that stoppage of play and how long it can really take. But this could be a very long minute 35 with all the icings called, but here's another face-off that you mentioned are key for Temple to win. And they win it again at Ringwood. Smart play back on the other offensive possession, just shooting it into the net. Again, just getting the stop, just forcing Ludwig to continue to make plays. Sauer ripped that wrister at Zach Chase and looked like he got stuck up in him a little bit. But now there's a lot of holding, a lot of physicality there on Jake Lang. Approaching the final minute. 
Ryan Bachewski, that one gets blocked away. That was Jack Callahan making the diving save, putting his body on the line. Yeah, I've seen a lot of players end of this end of the season with this energy, the trying to minute. put it ahead. The final opportunities for Temple. And it looks like that will be a stoppage of play. There's gonna be a call there. Towson's bench pleading for a call. And now there's gonna be some final substitutions with 47.4 left on the clock. Just tensions, see it in tensions Jake. Tensions keep rising, Jake. Yeah. yeah, Jake Lang just head up as he skates off. I mean, it's just been that kind of night for some of these top linesmen for the Owls. On the ice a lot, taking some big hits. Towson, 40 seconds away from stealing this one. Hunter Ringwood going to have it behind the net, but it's going to be another icing call. And there's going to be another face-off yet again. A minute comes off the clock since the last one. 36.2 seconds left. Ken Ringwood, another one of those guys like Lang who's taking a beating. This is a moment when assistant captain could step up. Moments away from either devastation for Temple or a thrilling comeback. Time keeps ticking. 27.3 left on the clock. Towson just keeps doing what they have to do and just getting it out of their own territory. And like you mentioned, Temple, they need to win these face-offs, but they need to control possession in order to get a good shot. Yeah, that, that's true, Chase. But I, I guess a silver lining to that is these icings continue to stop the clock after a few seconds where, you know, where's a deflection or anything other than that, it, the puck's going around. And there's less opportunities. Ringwood trying to rip it. Goes high, and another save by Ludwig. Five seconds run off the clock, another stop, another face off awaiting. 22.1 left. Temple up by 36 in shots on goal, but still facing a one goal deficit in Towson. Moments away from playing spoiler. Barrett not able to keep track of it. Loses it. Temple coming up on their final opportunity. Bachewski not able to collect. 10 seconds remain. And here's Wilson on the breakaway and he will finish this one off. Jeremy Wilson with his third goal of the night. That is a hat trick. And it looks like Towson is gonna come into Northeast Skate Zone and spoil Temple Senior Night. Yeah, it, just a, a great job all night defensively for Towson. At staying around in front of the net, forced the Owls into some turnovers, just out of control for Temple around the offensive zone. And, and Wilson doing what he's done all night. Great to see him back out there after he was hurt on the ice for a few moments there. And getting the hat trick to cement a phenomenal win for this Towson team that has been through a lot this season. That will do it, folks, from Northeast Skate Zone. Towson takes it on Temple Senior Night, five to three, and Temple not able to take advantage of the win and in scenario. A very brutal loss here for not just the seniors, but this entire team. Just absolutely killer. They're gonna shake hands as Towson is going to come away victorious. So Temple will fall to 11-11 and go back to 500 on the season. And a Towson team that we talked about did not look like a one in 20 squad at all. They improved to two in 20 now. And just, you can't say enough about how they showed up tonight, Jacob. Yeah, it started from puck drop. They dictated the pace. They took advantage of Temple's mistakes. And Wilson and Harwood playing a big factor. OMB also with a goal as well. But, but my player of the night for Towson is Daniel Ludwig. Yeah. 66 shots. You heard that right, folks. 66. Loud, just three goals and a handful of them on misdirections. Puck all over the place. He held the Owls offense at bay here tonight. The Owls will fall on senior night. Their next game is next Friday here at Northeast Skate Zone. 
February 9th, they will take on Canisius at 8.40 p.m. That will be their next one, and I'm sure they are going to look forward to get some payback against their next opponent, but tonight was not the Owls' night. They fall to Towson 5-3, to 